top of the morning everyone let's get right into it let's talk about high hooking there were a few people that actually emailed me regarding high hooking and there were a couple that actually uh, said something on the uh, YouTube channel regarding high hooking uh, unfortunately they got some false information so let's clear that up right now and uh, I'm not trying to bash anyone so I'm just gonna tell you what high hooking is okay let's go over the components right there that's the kingpin okay over here is your fifth wheel now when you high hook there's a gap in between the apron which is this and the fifth wheel which is that okay so this is pretty much the view you will receive when you're backing up and like I said in a previous video if you don't know if you're not used to seeing this it's very easy for you to overshoot the fifth wheel it's very easy for you to high hook a lot of people are mistaking high hooking for overshooting the fifth wheel however you can get a high hook if the trailer is too high and the tractor is too low and you can also do a over you can overshoot the uh, fifth wheel as well so let's go ahead and back up Okay. Now, I'm hooked, right? Okay, <clears throat> so let's put it in drive here. Today I had this automatic. Oh my gosh, I hate automatics. But anyway, so let's go ahead and do a tug test. And you can see, I'm hooked, right? All right. Great. And as you can see there, there's a gap in between the fifth wheel and the trailer apron. There's a gap. Now, what's going to happen if you go ahead and hook up, raise your landing gear, and go down the highway, you will be able to go down the highway. But what's going to happen as soon as you get on uneven ground, make a turn, whatever the case may be, you're going to lose your trailer. Guaranteed. So let's not make that mistake. High hooking is not overshooting a fifth wheel. I did a video on overshooting the fifth wheel. That's when your kingpin is on this side of the fifth wheel. That's not high hooking. This is high hooking. Now, how do you get out of a high hook? Very simple, very easy. Being that your landing gear is already down, what you wanna do, this truck happened to have a um, auto release. Just come in and you heard it click, release, the locking jaws from around the kingpin. Once you have it in gear, simply pull away. And you'll be from up under the trailer. Now this is the kind of look that you will have when you high hook. Now when you first go under, your fifth wheel will be tilted back like that. So once you pull out from under a high hook, It'll pretty much be level like this. Okay, so now, I mean, you can just go ahead and simply put it back. And what you want to do then is lower the trailer. Now, if you have a heavy load, or if there's anything, like I said before, if, if you have anything, even a thousand pounds on it, it's going to be extremely heavy. So put it into the uh, lower gear. Like I stated before, this has two gears. Okay, on this trailer, that's uh, low gear, out is high gear, okay? Low gear, high gear, okay? And uh, just wind it down. I want it in low gear because the trailer is empty right now. So I lowered the trailer in high gear. Now I'm going to go back. I'm already lined up because I was just up under it. And you don't need to hit the kingpin so hard. Real easy. See how easy that was? Now I'll pull forward, tug test, and we are connected. So let's just see what kind of connection we have. Okay, at this point, there's no gap in between the fifth wheel and the apron. Let's walk up under. Let me get my light real quick. 
Sorry about that. Get my light. Go up under. And you see the locking jaws around the kingpin. And there's no gap. Now you might see a little bit of gap at the back end of the fifth wheel because that it angles down. That's the reason why you see a little bit of a gap there. And one thing you do not want to do, people, is get in between here because just for safety reasons, you don't want to put your foot up under the air. Just be careful when you get in between these tires. Don't get in between the tires. I wouldn't advise that. But anyway, the little gap that I was speaking of is right here. Right there. You see it too much light right there. The important part is right here. There's no gap between the apron and the fifth wheel. So that is high hooking and getting out of a high hook. My God, look how my drivers take care of my truck. Look at this. The truck that I drive would never look like this. Only in retirement. And even then, I doubt it. You guys be safe.